Hi, my name's Harry. I want to show you how I installed my uh, solar system in my Coachman Freedom Express 246 RKS. I'm not telling you this is how it's supposed to be done. I'm just showing you how I did it. So um, here you go. Here's our 2016 Freedom Express. That's Pedro in the back. And this is Elvis, the small one. I installed a uh, 200 watt system that I got on uh, Amazon. I bought it piecemeal. I know you can get it cheaper buying a package, but I wanted everything uh, individual that can be expanded, so this is what I did. First, I, I installed this panel up here. Tells you the voltage, cigarette lighter adapter, and uh, gives you a current reading of the uh, voltage on the uh, batteries. Down here, this is an MT50. It's connected to my MPPT controller. Works really good. You can go through, it'll cycle through, let you know how much voltage you have. It's pretty, pretty intuitive. And uh, very, very reasonably uh, bought. I would highly recommend getting an MPPT controller over a PWM. Um, it's there's just many benefits to the MPPT plus this thing is expandable if I decide later on that I want to uh, bring it up to 400 watts which quite honestly I don't know if I will or not I don't know how often we'll use the solar the other thing I did for you Freedom Express uh, owners <laughs> this wall behind the shower there's a vent that goes through up top here um, so this wall is is thick enough to accommodate a vent. So I don't know if it's exactly a two by four construction, but it's probably at least a two by three. So there's plenty of room up in there. Um, and if you look at the bottom here, there is a an access on this uh, base right here. Take these two screws out, you can pull this out. And there's a um, uh, about an eight by eight inch opening underneath here that, uh, that goes down to the uh, plastic pan underneath. And you can also reach up under the shower and access the cavity behind this wall. So what I did was I went up top, I felt the, I put my hand through, I felt the, um, the vent in the wall here. And I went to the um, outward side of the vent and drilled beside it in the wall come down and I fished the wire the solar wires down and pulled them underneath the shower down through the floor here I'll show you outside you can pull a couple covers off and um, access the underneath and access the wire so what I end up doing was I pulled the wires down through the floor over under the bed under the bed here there's a, a pocket that goes up to the um, pass-through storage so um, I use that area there to run my wires. Um, nothing is um, nothing is um, uh, exposed anywhere. Also, I ran a separate circuit for this guy here. I should have mentioned that this is on a 12 gauge wire, um, and I've got it on a, a 15 amp fuse in the back on its own. Uh, so it's this runs completely off of the solar inverter. It doesn't or solar. Uh, controller it doesn't uh, it doesn't go anywhere else to the original wiring all right we'll go outside I'll show you what we did out there okay now underneath here there's a couple of screws you can take out uh, I think they're quarter inch or five sixteenths basically you're just gonna pull a couple of these screws out drop this gas line down and you'll have access to underneath the pan so you'll be able to uh, go back and forth on that uh, up to the pass through here this is my pass through here well I might as well mention it while we're here I built this box with the idea that I can uh, add more batteries into it if if uh, two batteries aren't enough in the future. 
and I bought two. I, I eliminated the original battery that was with it, and I bought two uh, Trojan T105 golf cart batteries, which I would recommend you buy from a golf cart store. Don't buy them online. Um, go on go on the web and Google Trojan batteries. Um, put your zip code in. Somebody in your area sells them. They were about a hundred bucks a piece with a fifty dollar deposit. If you don't have a golf cart battery to trade in, they do not take other batteries for trade in. I guess because of the weight. So basically, I had to pay an extra hundred bucks for the two batteries for the deposit. So um, three hundred bucks gets you at 210 amp hours. And since I had extra space in here, I uh, cut some lumber to put under my jacks. It gives a good space to store it. And uh, it's my wiring I wired into uh, my solar controller. It comes around here, goes up through the floor. And here is my charge controller. I got it off of Amazon. Excuse my hand here, I'm not real good at this. It's an MPPT, EP Ever, Tracer Series, 30 amps. Um, with, the, um, with the remote inside, I think I probably paid 140 bucks, something like that. It wasn't terribly expensive. Um, but basically, this is the, the, the uh, this is how I ran it. Basically, all the wires run across here through the storage that I talked about earlier. They're zip tied onto this board I put in that is secured to the frame. And then the charge controller is secured to that. It also has, I put an 80 amp uh, breaker in line from the controller to the battery. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have went with a 60 or a 50. Um, I'll probably tr change that out later on. It's a little bit oversized, so um, I'll probably, moving forward, I may change that, but uh, it's what I bought, so I'm gonna use it for now. Um, this is your solar panel in. This is your battery in and out, uh, positive, negative, and this is what they call the load. This load is controlled by the um, charge controller. You don't necessarily have to use it. I did decide to use it for the the uh, cigarette lighter and, and um, um, adapter I put it on, in the wall, so it runs off of this load. But you can run it right off the battery. You don't necessarily need to use that load. And uh, the load is on a 15 amp fuse itself. Um, the solar wiring I used was uh, 10 gauge and it's uh, rated for solar panels. You don't necessarily need to use that. You could use something else, but this is um, UV rated and it's made to be put outside. So uh, it wasn't terribly expensive on Amazon. So, you know, just, just get it. It's not that bad. All right, this is, this is the inside here. Oh, and this is the ground. Everything's, everything's grounded to this bolt right here. The battery, all the all the negative components I grounded to here, and then I've got a chassis ground on the MPPT right here. And you can kind of look at my wiring. I zip tied it so it's up out of the way where it won't bother anything. Excuse my uh, hand. I don't have a uh, a uh, anything for this camera. I'm just using my phone. All right, we'll take a look up top real quick. Okay, as you can see, I've got two 100 watt panels. Basically, I put them both on the same side. And uh, since the trailer is almost 28 feet long, I can add plenty more in the future if I decide I want to get them. We're just going to see how it goes. But the way I built this, it is expandable. So this 30 amp could easily handle a 400 watts without any any grief. Um, these are the connectors and if you look over on the other side by the vent you'll see where the wiring goes down into the bathroom that I talked about earlier. So basically that's the whole system. It's been in a couple of weeks and it really works great. I've also shut my inverter off in the camper 
because um, they're not noted to be a high quality and they kind of cook your batteries and with the charge controller for the solar that does everything I need it to do I don't need to have it on electric if I ever run into an issue where um, I'm not getting any sun and I need to charge the batteries I'll turn it on but uh, for now it's off all right thanks thanks for watching have a good day